After two years of parent advocacy, Fairfax County Public School students started 2009 under a new grading scale. The organization known as Fairgrade actively supported the change to a 10-point grading scale instead of the 47-year-old 6-point scale. Fairfax County has an outdated 6-point grading scale, while most of the nation has a 10-point grading scale. That affects GPA and that affects scholarships. Prior to 47 years mm -hmm. ago, we were originally on a 10-point scale. One reason or another, Fairfax County Public Schools moved to a 6-point scale. Our kids were being disadvantaged. I was basically told by lots of people in the community, the school board, leave it alone, that's what we want. Fair grade began in McLean High School. The policies set the bar for getting an A at 94, and the bar for passing at 64. While most school systems across the nation get an A at 90 with a passing score at 60. It's not like we're asking to be the first school district in the country to move to a 10 point scale. We're one of the last. With the old grading scale, it was just so hard. I mean, being ADD and being someone who struggled, it was just incredibly frustrating. I mean, I'd study and study, and I would not get an A. Once I started to realize a different grading scale would have helped, I got so frustrated because it was just one more thing keeping me back. Though the changes fair grade proposed would affect all grades, its main focus was on high school students applying for scholarships. Just changing the grading scale and the weights does not guarantee seniors merit scholarships. I really do think it affects scholarships. I actually applied for a scholarship at Utah State that would have been four years of full tuition and fees. I would have been completely covered. I didn't have the right GPA. If I had been on a regular grading scale, I would have, you know, maybe not have gotten that scholarship, but I would have had a better chance. On January 8, 2009, Fairgood parents organized a public meeting with the county school board. Thousands of parents showed up in favor of the change. There were so many parents there. Thousands of parents turned up. The press was there. These doors opened up and parents just kept flooding in and literally flooding in. It was, it was so exciting. During the meeting, Emily spoke to the school board describing the problems that she had faced with a six-point scale. I was nervous. At some point, I got really emotional. Brought the whole crowd to its feet in applause. People were standing up and cheering in agreement with Fairgrade. Oh, it was incredible. It was all over the news. She said what every parent in that room was thinking. That was a really huge, huge moment for us, and that really was the turning point. Fourteen days after Emily's speech, it was put to a vote. The Fairfax County School Board unanimously voted for the new 10-point grading scale. Change can happen. And now, Fairfax County students are on a level playing field with the rest of the nation.